You silly girl. Coughing all over the place. Good morning. It's Monday, my last day off before work. Morning, weekend. I don't know if I feel like I spent it in a way that I entirely enjoyed, but I guess it's still time off work, which is good. Okay, so since it is Memorial Day and I woke up late, I woke up at like 11.30, but the sun was shining, peeking through the blinds. So I was like, you know what? I just want to go out and enjoy this weather for a short while. So Del Mar, it is. I was kind of hoping to walk near the beach though, but the thing about that is Memorial Day most likely means there's a shitload of people at the beach. And I wasn't even talking about directly on the beach. Like I don't want to walk along there because there will be a lot of foot traffic, but maybe remotely close where I can get some views of the beach. But as usual, I think I would prefer solitude over views. So Hmm. I'll probably park in the same location, but try to walk out of the neighborhood because I'm getting a little bored of houses. I've seen that neighborhood many times and it would be nice to like see something else while walking, right? I think I would like to say that this walk is as much for me as it is for her. Speak. Good. She stepped on my shoes. You always have to step on my shoes. Speak. Good. And she spits too. And she barks. Okay, and as usual, when taking her out, I need to bring a water bowl. Although, oh, here it is. I like the one with the bag. That way, when she drinks from it, <clears throat> you know, I don't have to worry about the water getting on other things in my bag especially because I'm probably going to bring this camera. What else do I need to bring? Bluetooth. Let me double check. It's in here. I don't think it is. I think it's charging on my computer. Doing shit with one hand. Yes, it's not in here. Let's grab it, shall we? So here is where it charges, right here. Also, something I'm actually excited for today, even though I'm not even sure how excited I am for is that um, Path is doing a new season or a new league as they like to call it. And I guess the thing is, is that I realized that, so for me, I am a player that really likes to do builds where um, I like being the source of damage, right? And some builds uses a lot of summons like golems or like raised undead, stuff like that. So the first build that I started this game with that he recommended to me was Golemancer, where you summon flame golems and you also have some specters that deal all the damage, not you. And at first I was like, eh, I don't really like this build because I like being the source of damage. I don't want my summons to be doing the bitch work. But what I realized later when I started playing this other build that was projectile build, like using a wand to like shoot projectiles, I realized that similar to D3, I was holding shift a lot because you know how if you have if you have an attack skill on your left mouse button and you use that without shift, sometimes you end up moving instead of shooting. And that gets extremely annoying to me when there's like packs of mobs and I'm left clicking and I'm moving half the time because the game thinks I clicked on the floor and not a mob. So I end up holding shift constantly when I'm playing. And I think over time, that drains the shit out of my left pinky if I'm holding shift all the time. And I don't like having to do that. So that dissuades me from trying a build that I like, such as projectiles and like ranged builds. I really like playing ranged characters. Um, similar to WoW, I never played melee much. I played a warrior, which was okay, but I always preferred ranged and casters. So I will probably 
I'll look at some other builds, but I'm sort of leaning towards trying or using the same build as I did earlier because it's just less demanding on my hands and I don't want to play a build where I'm like using my hands so much that they start hurting for long periods of time. So I guess I can probably level some today with the new season, try from scratch, which might feel a little nice because you know, usually when you're starting in the middle of, the, of a league, you have all these things at your disposal that you can buy items to help you level faster. But like if you just start from scratch, everybody else is starting from scratch. So it feels a little nice. Okay, I think she's bored of me sitting here talking when she knows we're about to leave. Right, puppers? Speak. Good. All right, before I arrive at our walking destination, I of course stopped at Bubble Tea. And I got winter melon today. Winter melon milk tea because two days ago I came here and I got mango green tea. So I didn't want to get the same one again. But what I think is really awesome and I must praise her because every time I go inside and I get something, she just stays calm. She's just chilling. She stays in that down position. And I, I love it because I think it takes a lot of hard work and concentration and focus for her to just ignore everything that's going on around her and really she's just so good hello i am sitting here on a bench in delmar with riley we already walked really far uh i will probably check the maps just to see how far we went but for now i just want to sit here and enjoy the breeze look at some views even though there's a fence blocking my view but she seems pretty happy oh I'm cutting off her head there you are seems like we walked 1.6 miles and we still have a bit to go until I get to my car so that makes me happy it's been a very good walk and I don't see any people around, so I might let her run around a little bit. Alright, it seems like people are coming over, so I will have to leash her and walk back. I don't really like having her off leash around people, in case they bitch at me, even though I would never let her approach them. And look, there's a lizard over there, on the sidewalk. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. But she is, she has no awareness, so she doesn't even notice it. Actually, earlier when we were walking in a heel, this fucking lizard like ran across the sidewalk in front of us. And I was so impressed because she controlled herself not to chase it. She stayed in the heel the whole time, which is really good. Hey, good girl. Good. I want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. You're supposed to gibberish, and motherfuckers act like you forgot about trade. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. You're supposed to gibberish, and motherfuckers act like you forgot about trade. So, what do you say to somebody who hates? Because everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. You're supposed to gibberish. Just a bunch of gibberish. That part is such a tongue twister. We have concluded our walk. When I check my map, Let's see, let's see, how far did we go? Okay, 2.1 miles. <laughs> Can't believe it's so close to two miles that I spent all that time mapping it just to confirm my suspicion. But that was a really nice walk. I really enjoyed it. And just, I tend to have moments when I bring her out to places we're not familiar with um, and I am always really, still always really impressed at her behavior because I just feel like since we don't go out very often that when she does listen to me out in public very well, I'm still always like surprised by it and I'm very happy about it. Um, of course, my training really does lead to her being very keen to listen to me, looking at me and stuff. So I practice that every single time we're out. I say her name, I want her to look at me, and then just like listening to obedience commands 
when there's a lot of busy noise around like uh, I took a picture in front of a busy intersection where she was sitting in front of one of those neighborhood signs or something and it just makes me happy to like see her listen so well and I'm so proud of her <laughs> but actually one more thing that I always find a little amusing is that so many people compliment me I don't really know who the compliment is to because I feel like it's always really weird that whenever someone compliments on how beautiful she is I never know what to say so I just say thank you even though uh, I feel like that's not the appropriate response because they're not complimenting me they're complimenting my dog and I guess I am thanking them on behalf of her if she were able to but the thing that I find amusing is that she doesn't know how attractive she is in the dog world and I always just wonder like if she understood how many compliments she got from strangers on how pretty she was like would her ego just start like getting big would she start getting big-headed cocky or whatever obviously this is a silly thing to think about because she's a dog and she won't she won't know what humans are saying about her but I just think of it like I don't know. Imagine if you were just a person and so many people in the world were telling you how pretty you are. I think it would be difficult for you to not start getting a little cocky in that sense, right? If you were complimented all the time. So that's kind of what I was trying to relate it to. But good thing my baby doesn't understand what humans are saying. So she remains very humble. <laughs> Okay, I, I should get her home because that was a long two mile walk and we never take those kind of walks. So, time to enjoy my... Ooh, time to enjoy my drive home with my winter melon milk tea. Okay, I'm trying something new and I actually think I like this where... Holy shit, my, my lamp is so bright. Okay, hopefully the lighting on that is still enough to illuminate my face in a normally dark area of my setup but at full brightness my lamp was blinding the heck out of me I wanted to talk about something because I've experienced a lot of instances of this lately and I think it's important to address and maybe like stir up some discussion even though I don't think there will be that much discussion because my channel is small. But anyways, I just think it would be worth talking about. I don't know if people will necessarily agree with me, but let me talk about the situation first because people are like, what the hell are you talking about? I've come across numerous instances of this from one specific person and then another one recently that made me really think about whether I am wrong or not. So, the situation is like this, where um, I feel that I am saying a statement that is relatively neutral, not negative, like doesn't imply any negativity, but the thing is, the person responding to what I said takes what I say as negative, and then they kind of respond in a way that is like not pleased, or they kind of think that I'm um, applying negative emotion to my statement even though I didn't in the first place and then what follows from that is potentially a conversation that goes towards an argument because of one line that you sent them being twisted into something that you didn't intend for it to be and then I think it usually leads to me the person who sent what I felt was a harmless message into feeling bad because the recipient completely turned my message into something negative and then it just it's a little hard to explain but I will give an example of the most recent one that made me think of this because I think it would be easier to understand rather than me explaining it that way so for example about one month ago one of my exes, uh, my second boyfriend, I think, that I did not have the best relationship with. We were only together for six months and it did not end very well. So I think after that, he tends to be that type of person where 
I've I haven't really felt fondly towards him ever since then and for maybe um, a couple months to a year after we broke up he would post stuff on reddit negatively about me and because of that I was like <laughs> all right if you feel like talking shit about me on reddit then it's gonna be hard for me to you know regain respect for you down the line so this was actually quite a long time ago I'd say this is maybe like four years ago that we dated and shit was it longer than that I don't even remember but yeah so since then I just like haven't had any interest in wanting to talk to him again I don't ever see myself being friends with him again and the thing about that is I have always been very friendly with my exes. Um, my very first boyfriend was actually someone from WoW. This was somebody that I was playing with during arenas in Wrath of the Lich King. So yeah, my first relationship was kind of like an online one, which is weird, but um, I still talk to him from time to time. Nothing negative towards him at all. My boyfriend in college, I still talk to once in a while. This guy, I haven't since we broke up. Well, we did for a short while, but then he was the one that found out that I create Riley, so he removed me from his friends list. That is a large reason why I have no interest in talking to him again, because if he thinks me placing my dog's safety above anything else is that negative, that I am cruel to my dog, then I have no interest in associating with him. Which is why when he messaged me, a month ago, um, I was very short and abrupt with my response because I didn't want to prolong our conversation. And then just one more thing, my most recent ex I still talk to semi-regularly, so three out of four of my past relationships, I still talk to them. And I like that. I like being friendly with an ex because you guys like each other for a reason, right? You guys connected well personality level, so it makes sense that it would be nice to continue talking even though we're not super close because none of them are local. But back to this guy. So he sent me a message just asking me about my cat and <laughs> you know, I guess naturally you kind of wonder like is he using the cat topic as a reason to reach out? And I sent my response, right, very short, and then it ended within, like, one reply from him. So then, a couple days ago, I was curious, so I wrote, let me see what I wrote. That way, I can show you guys how I don't think I sent anything negative. So yesterday, my freaking camera track is blocking part of my screen. This is what I sent him the other day. And it was one month after his last response, which I just didn't respond to. So I said, were you actually wondering about Sammy or did you have another reason for reaching out? Asking out of curiosity. I cannot possibly see that message being negative in any way. But the first thing he said was, normally I'd feel insulted that someone questioned my motives but I admit that when taking into account the context, your curiosity is justifiable. Even though his response was, I'd say, civil, which is always good, why would you automatically say, normally I'd feel insulted? Because I, I can understand why someone would feel insulted when you question their motives in specific situations, but I just don't think that's the best mentality to have if you just automatically assume someone questioning you is something negative. And my question, I feel like, was like, if I'm asking you if you had another reason for reaching out, you can simply just say, no, I was really just curious about your cat. Like, how hard is it to just say that instead of being like, how dare you question my motives? But since this context seems okay, your curiosity is justifiable. Like, I don't know, I just feel like all of that assumption of me potentially assuming something negative is not necessary, right? Like, if someone were to ask me a question like, 
I'm curious, why did you do this? I would actually just answer the why. I wouldn't just be like, are you questioning me? Questioning my motives? I wouldn't, that's not like the default thing I would think about. And I feel like I have been on the receiving end of someone reacting, even in the slightest, negatively to something that I felt was a harmless, neutral statement or question. And I think at this point, I want people to understand that if somebody else takes your message the wrong way, and if you are objective in reading your message and understanding that like there's like no reason to interpret it as negative, then you don't need to apologize. You don't need to feel bad about how someone else chose to receive your message negatively because I feel like that just shows like maybe some people are sensitive or they like read too much into something that is really harmless because I feel like it just frustrates me when I really feel like I'm being as neutral as possible with some of the stuff that I say but if someone receives it the wrong way then like you can't control that, right? But at the same time you shouldn't apologize if they choose to receive it differently than you intended. I know that when you read text, when people text each other, sometimes it's really hard to understand the emotions behind the text, but I think it's also on the other person to try to keep an open mind, more like a positive mind in terms of like how you guys are conversing because if they automatically start assuming that some of the stuff you send them are negative, then what does that say about how they think about you. If they just keep assuming that you have negative intent behind your words, that's probably not the best, uh, not the best perception they should have on you as a person. I hope that makes sense. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in the past, but one of the things that a therapist told me way back that I think is very, very valuable is that the emotions that someone feels is like on them. So if someone tries to blame you for making them feel a certain way, not your fault, okay? They need to take responsibility for how they feel. And depending on what the situation is, like, yeah, if you were freaking insulting them and they felt bad, you as a person should own up to being rude and disrespectful to somebody else. But for example, like me saying something harmless to this ex of mine and him being like, you kind of offended me questioning my motives, then no, I'm not going to apologize because I was trying to just ask a simple question and you were the one that took it the wrong way. So I can't control how you feel about it, but you can also own up to receiving my message and kind of not taking it the way I intended. I apologize if I did a poor job of explaining this because I think it can be a little difficult at times for me to really, really get across my point, especially if I'm just sitting here, turning on the camera and just speaking without like having a script or anything. If you are in a position where somebody else took what you said that was harmless in the wrong way, you should not have to apologize for it and you should not have to be made to feel bad about it either. I really feel like after some of these instances, I cannot talk to people who just automatically twist what I say to be negative because it makes conversations with them so hard. Something that you say innocently could just suddenly make the conversation completely derailed into going down a negative path, which is so not what I ever want. Even if people don't necessarily agree, I hope you at least see where I'm coming from in regards to this topic. Originally, I was kind of silly and I thought that PATH was starting their new season today, which is totally wrong. Obviously, when a season ends, it's not gonna just start a new one the next day. Apparently, it's starting on Friday, so I was originally gonna come home and level, but maybe I will look at some builds because I want to see if there might be another one that interests me and also one that does not destroy my hands if I play for long hours. Okay, it's 3 p.m. and I really want to enjoy the rest of my day before a four-day work week. My four-day weekend is ending and I feel like 
I've been brooding way too much of it.